here. This is going to be just a short moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I just completed a consult with a young man who got kicked out of his facility by a so-called landlord. He had a commercial business that was earning close to $80,000 a month. And the check that he used to pay his rent for the month had bounced. The landlord in the state that he's in, they have the right to come and lock the doors. But he delivered the payment to the landlord in the form of a cashier's check. And the landlord accepted the cashier's check, deposited it, and still locked him out. Ladies and gentlemen, that's illegal. He hired two attorneys, paying these two separate attorneys over $30,000 and still accomplished nothing. He contacted me. I told him about the law. I told him about, because I used to do commercial properties. So I told him what they are not able to do. And I also told him for every day that he's been outside the property, he's not liable for the rent. His lease is not terminated because they accepted the payment. And in the state that he's in, there are several cases documenting that the courts have agreed. He had two lawyers and they should have known this. This is not information they shouldn't have known. They should have known this because they specialize in this. They were just milking him for his money. Now he's going to have to fight, but he now has the ammunition to fight. And now he goes after the bond company because the realtor, the landlord, is a large company. They own more than 600 different commercial properties. Okay. All the equipment he had, he was leasing. He lost all of that. He was leasing to own. So he's lost all of that money. Now they're responsible for that. And you know what they have to do by law? Put them back in the facility. All right. I got to go. This is Wells Fargo. Got to go.